Kids Bible Club. Hello, boys and girls. Happy Christmas. And uh, I was just thinking, um, if you've got all your lists finished, have you? All those lists of things to do at Christmas. Your Santa Claus list. Oh, hang on a minute. I think I know who's popped up here. Come here, Benson. Come here. Come on. Up you come. Up you come. What are you doing out here? There, there we go. There we go. Right. Not Benson. Any idea who it might be? Oh, not Benson. So, uh, who are you? Guess. Uh, banana Man? Guess again. Uh, Boris Johnson? Don't be stupid. Okay, I just thought, you know. Let me see, I had a rough guess, possibly, maybe. What do you think, boys and girls? Santa Claus? Well, right, okay. That's great, Benson, but I'm just thinking if Santa, I mean, if you're uh, Santa, that would mean that <coughs> if, um, if you're Santa, you, you don't give yourself presents, so you'll not be getting any presents. If you're Santa, if you know what I mean, because, you know, Santa gives present. You don't want to be Santa anymore. <laughs> no, thought not. Yeah, let's see. You would rather be give. Yeah, you would rather get presents and get a thought that. And anyway, anyway, Benson, here we are. I was just saying to the boys and girls about lists. We make lots of lists at Christmas. People to see. We write out cards. We, we put out gifts. You made a list. Right? Oh, that list. Should I guess? Your Santa list. Stuff. For me, this is your Christmas list, okay? Big presents, some surprise there. Money, no surprise there. More big presents. What have we got here, Benson? What else have we got? We've got more big presents. Lots more stuff. Bananas, oh, I wonder when. More bananas, yellow bananas, bendy bananas, lots more bananas. This just goes on. This is like an everlasting list, Benson. It's just stuff after stuff. What's this? It just goes on and... Benson, if you're hoping to get all of that, well, all I can say is good luck with that. But actually, it does remind me that the Bible is filled with lists too, but not quite like that. Let me just explain to the boys and girls. You just, just listen there. Yeah, you look up at me. You smile at keys and it'll make me feel better. Anyway, Benson, or children, the Bible is filled with lists, isn't it? I mean, I was thinking of lists, you know, not that aren't in the Bible. For example, I looked up a list of, of strange facts, and one of them is that Coca-Cola was never invented as a drink. It was invented as a cleaning liquid, which is handy, because if you nip into the kitchen, you could say to your mum, I'm just going to do a bit to do a bit of cleaning. You know what I mean? In Bulgaria, I found this on a list. If you want to say yes, you go. And if you want to say no, you go. Yeah, I know, not weird, but there's lots of lists. But as I said, there's lists in the Bible too. Uh, the Old Testament has lots of lists. The book of Numbers and Chronicles are filled with them. But whenever you get to the New Testament, actually, it starts with a list. It starts off with a whole list of people who had a child. And that person grew up and had a child. Abraham was the father of Isaac. And Isaac, the father of Jacob. And Jacob, the father of Judah. And, his, and so on. Until eventually it comes to... And Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. That's how it starts off. Well, this list brings us right up to a person who's actually a gift. And if you like, at the end of a list. Because God sent his son as a gift to the world. Unto you a child is born. Unto you a son is given. You see? So Jesus is a gift. But I was thinking about Jesus too. And I was thinking, I wonder if in his life he had like a list of things he needed to tick off. Well, the first thing was he had to be born in Bethlehem under a star. And that happened. Then he had to live a perfect life. A life without sin so that people couldn't point at him and say, and that's exactly what he did. In fact, even his enemies couldn't find a fault with him. And then he had to live, so he could tick that off, and then he had to live a life that he showed us how much God loves us and what the kingdom of heaven is like. And he did that. In fact, he even told us in John chapter 3 that God so loved the world 
that he gave his only begotten son. So he did that. He showed us how much God loved us, spent time with us, did wonderful things and had people following him as he healed the sick and made the lame walk and did wonderful things. But then his list gets quite you know, darker in a sense, if you like, because he then had to die. This baby that was given was born to die. And not just die, but die a horrible death on a cross, bearing the sins of the world. In other words, all the wrong stuff that I have ever done and that you've ever done, Jesus took the punishment on himself on the cross. That was a gift he gave us and one of the things in his list. And after that, then he had to rise from the dead, showing that he was in fact the son of God and had power over life and death. And today he's in heaven speaking to the Father for us, telling his Father who has trusted in him and who will come to heaven to be with him one day. I think that's a wonderful list. And it's nice to have a Christmas list. And I just don't know about Benson, but well, all the best for that, Benson. But I think that list, that, that those things that Jesus did for us are the best ever. So, Benson, we're finished. Come on up. You can stop smiling now. You can, yep, come on up, you come up, up, there we go. Yep, you like that? That's good. But you still, you, you still have a couple of things to add to your list. Well, I'll tell you what, Benson, I'm going to say this to you. Happy Christmas. And I have another thing to add to my list, which was to give you your Christmas present. You have no idea what it is. Well, you'll find out Christmas Day. Thank you, Benson. And all I can say is, happy Christmas, boys and girls. And... Just remember this Christmas, in all the gifts and all the lists and all the things that we do, the greatest gift is those lists of things that Jesus did for us. Being born, living a perfect life, showing us how much God loved us, then giving his life for us and rising from the dead, showing us that what he said he could do, he can do because he's the son of God. Happy Christmas. God bless. Kids Bible Club.